Hi everyone, this is Regina and today I'll be sharing some summer trends here in Japan for 2024. Um, I feel like this summer there isn't that many new fashion trends similar to spring. So um, a lot of the spring trends and the trends from last summer will carry over into this summer, such as bows, chul, um, sheer boots and open toe boots, as well as um, silver bags and silver shoes. So check out my trends playlist if you're interested in seeing more videos like that. And as always, timestamps will be down below. So feel free to skip around as much as you like. Just hit the like button in exchange, please and thank you. So throughout spring, I've been noticing some people wear shearing, um, specifically shearing cami tops with a cardigan or a jacket on top. So I feel like shearing might be one of the trending, not items, but like one of the trending textures for this summer season. Shearing is definitely a fun texture to go with the summer season. Um, and it definitely reminds me a little bit of girlhood and childhood. But even with that being said, I feel like it is quite versatile in terms of styling and it can easily be dressed up or dressed down. And it's an easy way to kind of add a little bit of extra something to a rather basic or plain outfit. I do think that here in Japan though, um, it definitely leans a little bit more towards the feminine and girly kind of style. Um, and I think that dresses with shearing details are going to be what's kind of carrying this trend for this season. I particularly love this dress here from Frey ID. Um, I just love how romantic it feels and I love all of the different colors that it comes in. But unfortunately, this dress is about some mine, so um, I can't really justify getting this dress, so I probably won't be getting it, even though I think it's very, very pretty. Um, and I guess on a bit of a side note, I do feel like the brand for your ID has kind of gone up in price a little bit in the past couple of years. So if you also live and shop a lot here in Japan, let me know what you think if you're familiar with the brand. I also want to tack on the dainty girly print trend to this shearing trend because I often see these two things combined together. Um, this is definitely a trend that I usually see among women and girls who are like under the age of 25. But of course, if you really, really love these kinds of prints, please, please, please wear these prints out to your heart's content. Um, I do think that this print definitely ties into the overall like ballet core or coquette aesthetic that we've been seeing trend for the past few years on social media. Tube tops might also be popular this summer. Um, I don't really feel like that's really revolutionary to say. And I do feel like I have seen some kind of tube tops um, in the past couple of years, but I do feel like it's a little bit more on trend or like a few more people are gravitating towards tube tops, especially the girlies who like the kind of Y2K slash TikTok that like it especially the kind of girls and women who really like the Y2K slash TikTok kind of aesthetic, they'll probably just wear the tube tops as is. But I think most people here who are interested in tube tops or really like the look of tube tops will probably layer them. So they might layer um, some sort of compact t-shirt or um, tank top underneath their tube top, or they'll wear some sort of mesh or sheer like shirt like this on top of their tube top. Some of these tube tops will kind of tie into other trends that we've seen in the past few years as well. So we'll see like tube tops with tool or with a Y2K aesthetic or with peplum. One interesting way to style a tube top is to wear a kind of long sleeve um, nude light shirt underneath the tube top. So you can still have that look of showing your skin without actually showing your skin. And I know that like kind of covering up is really important to a lot of women here in Japan because they don't wanna like get tan and stuff. And another interesting way to style a tube top that I found was from this brand called, um, what was the brand called? From a brand called Select Mocha. Um, their tube top, their denim tube top in particular has the buttons down on the front. So you can wear it as, um, you know, a traditional tube top, or you can even bring the tube top down to wear it as like a layering piece um, over your pair of pants or even over under their skirt. So I thought that was kind of cool. So for dresses and I guess skirts in general, I think that we are entering a A-line silhouette era, or I guess more accurately, a soft A-line silhouette era. Um, in the early 2020s, we were seeing a lot of mermaid skirts um, and mermaid silhouettes. So I think that people are really, you know, moving on to a different silhouette now, which is the A-line silhouette. And I think that silhouette kind of easily works with um, a lot of different body types compared to the mermaid silhouette. 
because with the mermaid silhouette, I feel like you had to definitely look for a mermaid skirt or a mermaid dress that works with your body type. Whereas I feel like with um, an A-line silhouette, it's not, like you don't have to put too much thought into buying an A-line skirt or an A-line dress because it kind of usually just falls the same on most body types, I feel like. As for shoes, sneaker mules have been surprisingly been on trend this past spring and that will continue into the summer and for the rest of the year as well, I think, especially among women and girls who really love that Y2K kind of aesthetic. Um, should I love these shoes as much as I do? Probably not, um, but I do really love the design of these shoes. Um, there's just something about them that I really, really love. Um, but unfortunately, I think most of the brands that have these kinds of shoes, they only go up to a size 24.5 or to a size 25. So they're just a little too small for me. So I cannot participate in this trend, um, which is a bummer, but I really love how um, pointy the toes are. And I just love the heel and how those two elements together kind of add a bit of edginess or sexiness um, to sneakers in general. And I feel like that's not something you can really find easily with a pair of normal sneakers, except for the um, Martine Rose and Nike Shocks collaboration. Um, that was a beautiful collaboration. I'm so sad that I, didn't, <laughs> that I didn't get a pair of those shoes from that collaboration. I just feel like those shoes were such a beautiful balance of sneaker and heel. And I wish that more sneaker heels kind of looked like that. Um, they definitely look better to me than the sneaker mules that I've been seeing now and definitely better than the old, um, I guess, wedge sneakers from, I think, the 2010s. But yeah, so sneaker mules are definitely going to be on trend for the rest of this year, I think. Another popular mule that we've been seeing this spring and that will carry over into summer, or maybe it will just skip summer and go straight into fall and winter, are the belted mules or belted sandals or belted flats. Um, basically those kind of chunky belts, double belts on shoes have been gaining traction here in Japan and I think around the world as well. They definitely have that punk, edgy, rock kind of aesthetic. Um, honestly, when I look at those kinds of like black belts with like silver hardware, I just automatically think emo, but they still look good. I think they they don't look that bad. Um, but yeah, I feel like similar to the sneaker mules, people seem to be styling them in a kind of Y2K sporty kind of a way. But I also think they're a good accessory to have to add a little bit of unexpected, surprising edginess to an outfit. Um, so you can create some tension there and some interest. With that being said, I'm not really sure how comfortable these shoes are because from what I seem to understand, it's the ones from Shein that seem to be the most popular and from what I understand they are not comfortable at all so I would not recommend getting the pair from Shein. I definitely recommend trying on a pair of shoes <laughs> before you buy them or at the very least order from a brand whose focus is footwear. Another popular kind of shoe for this summer possibly is um, the Samurupu Tongu Sandaru which I think you would just call the thumb loop thong sandals in English. I'm not really sure what to call these, but um, they basically look like normal slides, but have this kind of curved cutout on them. Um, and I'm not really quite sure how I feel about these. Um, when I look at them on their own, I feel like they're kind of sculptural and kind of cool in that kind of a way. Um, but when I see them on other people, I feel like they're just missing half of their sandal, if that makes any sense. So please let me know what you think about these kinds of sandals down below. Another kind of shoe that could be on trend for this summer is mesh flats. Um, I'm not really sure which came first, the Alaya pair or the one from the row, but I definitely feel like both brands kind of contributed to this kind of shoe getting a little bit more popular. Um, here in Japan, I feel like mesh sandals have been on trend for the past couple of years, but I think that with brands like Alaya and the row, um, I think that mesh flats might also be popular this year. I do wonder if people will, will lean more towards the um, sheer mesh flats, like this pair from Beauty and Youth, or if they will lean more towards the net-like mesh flats. For the net-like mesh flats, I do think that there could be some issues um, with your toes or with your nails kind of getting stuck in the netting of the shoe. Um, so I think that's something to think about before getting a pair of flats like this. This pair from the brand Carino actually has the toes covered, 
which I feel like kind of ruins the overall aesthetic of the shoe, at least in the beige color. I think it kind of works a little better um, in the black color. And in terms of sheer mesh flats, I feel like the sock mesh flats from the row look a little bit awkward to me. Um, and I think it's because of the cutoff point at the ankle. It looks a little bit blunt and abrupt. Um, I definitely prefer like normal looking flats just with a, a sheer mesh material um, as opposed to like the traditional materials used for flats. Another possible trendy item for this summer is woven or crochet hats. And I'm basically adding these to the list because I noticed Uniqlo selling these kinds of hats. Um, I think that maybe beige will be a little popular because it kind of looks like a straw hat without actually being a straw hat. Um, depending on the materials used for the hat, of course. But yeah, I feel like I can't really remember the last time I saw a person wear a straw hat, um, or maybe I'm just not really paying attention like that. But I do feel like straw hats in general are kind of out of fashion. Um, so if you like the straw hat look, but don't wanna wear a straw hat, I feel like these crochet hats in a beige color could be a good option, um, especially because they're easy to like throw in your bag um, as opposed to an actual hat. They're like easy to carry around and stuff um, compared to, um, you know, traditional straw hats. Hey everyone, editing me here. So I wanted to add another trend to the list and that is a white lace wrap skirt. White lace has been trending for the past few months and I've noticed some people wearing these lace skirts too. And I think that they'd be a perfect styling piece for the summer as well. One easy way to look stylish is clever layering, but in summer it's just so hot that layering can be like a little tricky, which is where these lace skirts would come in. Usually they're paired with a pair of pants, usually a pair of jeans specifically, and honestly, I expect them to be styled this way in summer as well, even though personally I feel like it's too hot to wear jeans in summer. But with that being said, I still can't really imagine people styling these with mini skirts or shorts, but I think we just have to wait and see if people can come up with new ways to style these wrap skirts come summertime. But that's basically all from me today. Please let me know which summer trends you liked the best and what you're looking forward to wearing this summer. I'd really like to know, so please leave a comment down below. And I am also planning on, and the keyword is planning, on making a Japanese summer staples video. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Bye.